Robert used to come round to this house that I lived in, in Petrie Terrace, inner city Brisbane. It was a really great house with a sunken bath, and not that he ever went into the bath with me, but he used to come round and visit me. And eventually we migrated to the practice rooms. And then we started just practicing together for hours and hours on end, just the two of us. It was a, you know, a musical bond. And then he started playing with Zero for a while. And um, that was really, like, fun. And then he and Grant um, went overseas and he came back from overseas before Grant. They went overseas and they um, did um, something with a Scottish label. And they, they were only away for about six months or so. They came back and Robert and I started playing again in the practice rooms in the valley in Brisbane. And then um, Grant came back and they said, oh my God, we always wanted a female drummer and, and here you are. And I said, yes, here I am. And, you know, they were two pretty gorgeous boys. They were very intense and very, you know, very aware of what, they wanted to do and the first thing they wanted to do was get out of Brisbane and so did I and uh, I happily joined up with them. Um, Robert wrote the more of what you would call art rock songs and, and Grant wrote more of what you would call um, popular or easy listening tunes. Not that the lyrics were but in terms of the, the melodic content. They were, they were more easy listening. Um, so um, there was that tension in the band as well as... Um, and that was discussed openly, you know, but not in those terms. You, you know, one wouldn't say, oh, well, you're doing the art rock songs. It, it, was a, it was a saying, well, OK, we've got to have five and five. You know, if we were, like, so fascinating and the dynamic was so interesting with the girls in the band and all the relationships and everything that happened and everybody's so fascinated with everything that always happened in the go-betweens. But we never had any recognition. We never, we never achieved anything, nothing. No, the world changed. It, people got stuck on that stuff and not the music. I, 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 th I really think that Robert and Grant were, were and are, ex sorry, were exceptional songwriters, like truly great songwriters. Hmm. But I'm also and, and, and I thought the way that we as a band presented the songs was truly unique. Well, well fr you know, frankly, I think that when we got to 16 Lovers Lane, it was a terrible, terrible shame that we'd lost Robert Vickers. And I Why? think that's a story that's not been told because, you know, Robert Vickers and I had worked together as a rhythm section for many, many years and, and then I was working with a new bass player. Robert Vickers was the bass player in the group. He came in um, after we did our second album, Before Hollywood. He, came f he was originally from Brisbane uh, and he'd moved to New York and he'd played in a New York band called The Colours. One of my other favourite stories is that we were sitting in this... Um, at, in, at 301 Studios, there was a beautiful couch section, all couches in its square. And Gudinski comes up because um, he was going to licence this. And uh, first time we'd met him, and he's walking around in that kind of, you know, distracted, cannot concentrate, cannot focus for a second. He stands here, looks there, walks there, and he goes, girls in the band, you'll break up in a year. <laughs> it was actually 19 months after. <laughs> um, one of the strangest stories, and, and there's no explaining this, is how, um, you know, Grant was such an incredibly well-mannered man. You know, everybody knows that. He was a really, really well-mannered man. But we ordered pizzas one night, same couches. We're all sitting around the couches, and, and he, um, he said, you know, I don't want any pineapple on the pizzas. I don't like pineapple on co cooked pineapple. And when the pizzas arrived, we opened the pizzas and it was cooked pineapple. And Grant went totally nuts. <laughs> he went absolutely nuts. And it was not like, I said I didn't want any cooked pineapple. There's cooked pineapple on this plate. I can't eat this cooked pineapple. And the whole lot of us were just going, what? 
what is going on? You know, that it was not Grant. You know, Grant was not a guy to ever make a show about anything. Everything was quiet. So obviously there was some tensions in the studio for Grant to have cracked up about cooked cook pineapple. Gadinsky was, you know, turned up for that, for one session, to just walk around and, and show, show, it, show his presence. And you toured quite a lot as well. I mean, well, we toured band. relentlessly, for God's sake. We never stopped touring. That was the problem. We were a touring band. It was the only way we could keep eating. It was the only way that we could make sure we got <coughs> dinner because in most parts of the world, apart from Australia and America, when you arrived at a gig, they'd give you food. So it, it, it wasn't... At some points it was, it was about the art and at some point it was just also about just staying alive. The whole kind of... the, the band. Well, no, 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 no. Well, perhaps you need to be doing art to stay alive. Because then you went on that REM world tour. Well, all, world that's tour. when it all began to unravel. Right. Yeah. And, um, you know, the, everybody's got their own story and it seems to me that the only people who ever tell the story are Amanda and I and Grant's now dead so he'll never tell his side of the story and Robert won't talk about it, which is easy. Am I? No, he won't. You, you, you can try, but he's not going to talk about it. Will he do the interview at all? I think so. And, um, uh, but, but frankly, we've never been able to deal with either um, Grant or Robert after the band broke up on December 27th, 1989. And we were so poor and just had nothing, just nothing. And the way we lived in London, in rooms, and it was just incredible. Just incredible. And everybody in this country seemed to be doing so well. And, and we were really such losers. <laughs> yeah, well, Grant always said it was, a, you know, it was an album about the Sydney summer. And that's right, the album is about the Sydney summer. It's going, it was all about, well, it wasn't just about the Sydney summer, it was about uh, Robert, Robert was all, Grant's side of it is all about his love for Amanda, except for the, 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 the anomaly, what, what, that song, whatever I could do, that stupid, bloody cheesy tune. And um, Robert's song is all about, you know, I'm so confused, I don't know what's going on, and do you love me or don't you, or what's happening? Apart from the song I Die For Your Memory, which is a truly great love song. There. Does that sum it up? 